morning. Today I'm gonna go to Sentosa Island because I really really want to go to Universal Studios. I checked the weather forecast for today and it does say that like there's 70% chance of like raining and thunderstorming like later in the afternoon. But the thing is I really 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 want to go to Universal Studios. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Sentosa Island. We're gonna check that place out and if the weather is, is good enough you know, we'll go in and, and go to Universal Studios because I don't know why, I just have a thing for theme parks. Okay, so I just asked how to get to Sentosa Island. Um, pretty much what I need to do is I need to get to Harbourfront and then take a bus and then take a cable car. And to get to Harbourfront, I need to get to Chinatown and then change to the purple line and then get to Harbourfront. I've just arrived in Chinatown. I'm actually waiting for the train to get to Harbourfront. It's just two stops away. Okay, I've just arrived at Harbourfront. I'm currently at Vivo City, but first I kind of want to get something to eat because I haven't had anything since breakfast. And of course, there's a bread top right next to me. So I'm gonna hit up bread top. So I actually just got myself a tuna bun, but then as I was leaving, I saw that there were like sausage buns that came like straight out of the oven. So I had to get that as well. So I'm getting two buns. Okay, I found the bus stop to Sentosa Island. It is RWS 8 and the bus fare is a dollar. And I think I just missed my bus, which is okay. I'm, I don't mind waiting. Let's eat this. Do you know what? This is getting a little bit soggy now because it was straight out of the oven and I didn't get to eat it. But here's my favorite, the sausage bun. I'm actually not too sure of the frequency at which these buses come, but I'm pretty sure it should be arriving pretty soon anyway, so. All right, we have just arrived. Okay, so you know that I'm here for Universal Studios but I do want to explore sort of Sentosa Island a little bit as well. So I reckon what I'll do is this is the this is the escalator that leads up to Universal Studios and all the other all the other elements of the island as well, where there's like the aquarium, the trick eye museum and things like that. Let's do a round and then we'll get our ticket. Okay, I don't know what it is about theme parks, but there is something about being at a theme park maybe it's everyone being so excited around me or maybe it's like the smell of popcorn or i don't even know but there's something about being at a theme park that makes me so incredibly happy and excited i actually really want to get a photo like with the with the spinning world but i'm always really like shy about asking people to take photos for me i don't know why i'm just but i really do want to i'll, I'll see how it goes The photos that I took aren't really great, to be honest. Let's see if I can ask someone. Okay, we have officially entered into Universal Studios. Now this is a first for me. I've actually never been to a theme park by myself, but honestly, I wouldn't miss it for anything. There's so many things that I want to do. I think the good thing about being here like alone is that I can probably go through the rides like 
as like a single pass kind of thing. And and by the way, uh, I apologize in advance if the audio isn't great. Um, I wasn't allowed to bring a mic in, so if the audio isn't too good, that's that's why. So we're currently at Hollywood. I don't really mind where we go first, to be honest. Okay, first up we have Far Far Away. What I really want to do here is the Shrek 4D Adventures because I think it's really cool. That's the main thing that I want to do. Let's go before the line gets too long. Okay, and before I go anywhere further, can I just say I'm so grateful that it is so hot today. Um, like people have umbrellas out because it's so sunny and I really hope I'm not sweating too much on camera again. But it is not raining, touch wood. So that's good. Okay, that ride was really, really cool. It was like your typical 4D ride, like the seat moved, everything was 3D. When there was like, you know, water, it kind of like, they sprayed water. Yeah, it was really cool. Okay, in front of me is another ride that I've never been on before, so I might check that out now. such a cool ride it was like a it was like a much more relaxed version of a roller coaster honestly if there weren't more people waiting in line like it literally took an hour I would totally go again but um, now let's get to either the mummy or the transformer or Jurassic Park the rapids adventure is where I want to go see I see that there is like a universal express pass holy crap it is an 80 minute wait time. There's no like single line at all. There is a Universal Express Pass which I didn't buy, so maybe I'll go back to this later. Let's go like go and walk around the park first because there are, there are two other things that I really want to go, like the, the mummy and also... Okay, this is the ride that I'm talking about, the mummy. The wait time is 40 minutes right now, but they do have a, a line for like people just by themselves, which is the line that I'm going to be going on. But man, the entrance to the ride looks absolutely amazing. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm not going to be able to bring any of my bags or my cameras in, so... Oh, so I'm gonna go and check it in right now. Red locker, scans required. Yo, the mummy ride, that was absolutely insane. Like the amount of adrenaline that you will feel when you go on that ride. Um, yeah, just remember you can't bring anything with you, like no phones, no hats, you have to store everything in a locker. I think that in itself says a lot about how intense that ride is. I always love it, it's really, really fun. Uh, okay, let's either go find some food or go on the Transformer ride. I, I feel like the Jurassic Park water ride is still pretty crowded, so I reckon let's go and check out like, Okay guys, we're taking a small break um, and I got myself a bowl of noodles. I got myself a braised beef noodles and it came to 15 Singaporean dollars. Uh, this is what it looks like. All right, we are now done. That wasn't bad. Uh, it did the job. I'm not hungry anymore. So now let's, let's do the Transformer ride. Alright, let's 
let's go back to Jurassic Park and see how long the line is for the Raging Rapids. Or the, you know what I mean, the one with the water, etc, etc. Yay, there are a lot less people now so we will be able to do this. Uh, it says it's about a 30 minute wait. I don't think it'll be that long to be honest. And uh, I'll probably put my camera in my bag now because I don't want it to get wet because uh, that would be very upsetting. Okay, I am really excited for the ride, but I really do hope that I don't get completely soaked because I do not have a change of clothes, but um, we shall see what happens. Okay, honestly, I didn't get too wet. The only thing I wish I did was wear flip-flops instead of my sneakers because my shoes are completely wet. But other than that, everything is fine. It is now 6.21, um, so I'm heading to the exit. Time to go, it was really, really fun. And like I said at the very beginning of this video, there's something about theme parks that I really, really love. I don't know if it's the fact that, you know, everyone's just so happy or, you know, everyone's just so excited or the smell of popcorn or, or like the loud music, but I just love the positive energy that like theme parks have. And yeah, every time I get a chance to go to a theme park, I definitely try to go. And today was no exception. And that about wraps up our time here at Universal Studios Singapore and I think this is a good time for me to wrap up this video if you're still watching thank you so much for watching till the end I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays check them out if you have time I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next video either Tuesday or Friday all right bye